Do you find yourself spending too much time communicating with your clients? A client portal with resources, updates and contracts will save you an enormous amount of time. This right here is super okay. A client portal which integrates with more than 100 apps to help you save time. Let's check it out. So this is the super okay platform where we on the homepage basically just have an overview of our projects. Then we have an inbox here where it will show notifications if the client has done specific things. We have an overview of our clients and then we have templates. So let us start with the overview and create a new client. I will call this one YouTube client and then create it. Now for each client we can create contacts, we can set the branding for the client and that's it. Now what's important for these clients is that each client is connected to a client portal. So a client can easily have multiple contacts that can access the client portal, but only one client is to one client portal. Now let's move on to the templates here, where you can see that we can make different proposals, we can do estimations and illustration briefs. And this is for sending out offers to the client. So let's take the first one here, which is a website redesign proposal. Scrolling down, we have a lot of text, we have scope of the work, and then we have the budget. And under the budget, we can make a timeline, what team we'll use, relevant work, contract and terms, and so on. But let's go up and then let's say we want to use this specific template. I will use it in my client portal, my first project here. So now you can see that we can basically change all of the text, we can change the different designs basically. Over here you can see that we have some activity, some comments and some action items, but this is overall for the platform. Scrolling down, again we can change the text, but what's interesting is down here where we have the budget. Now when you work on the budget, over here you can see that we can set up different action items. And that's what you need to do for the entire project. But everything except for that is very customizable and you just have to basically replace all of these blocks to enter the text or insert images if you have to because that really works well. Down here you can see that this is basically where we sign and down here we add all the contract and the terms. So this is all the proposals you can send out and these proposals are also saved on the client portal so they're always accessible. Let's just for now approve this one and see what happens. So now it's approved and it's under documents and proposals. So right now we basically just jumped in to the client portal, which you can see here. So you can see under documents, we have this specific proposal that we made for the client. We have the action items over here. Down here we have a knowledge base and then we can manage apps. And in the timeline here, you can see what has been happening. So the client can always see when you're changing things and what has been changed. That creates transparency and that is so important. We can also over here see the different action items, the knowledge base where you can add new knowledge to the base basically. And that is if clients has questions you see go over and over again, then always add them here. It would be interesting to have a global knowledge base that you can always insert into a project. And here on the timeline, you can just see basically the timeline. You can't change anything, but up here we can always create and that is wherever you are. We can always create a contract, an estimate, change request to the client. We can make a client sign up and much more. But let's go all the way back to the beginning and create a new project. Let's call this project YouTube video. We'll select the client, YouTube client. The currency I will change to Danish. And over here you can see the different modules. So we cannot create custom modules that we can move around. We can choose right now between these three modules. I will keep all of them and then we can go to project branding because within project branding, we have both the light and the dark theme. We have the colors and then you can also insert a header background image. We can insert fonts and make a new color palette. But for now, I'll just keep this. You can also add quick links. This can be a link to a specific website you have as inspiration. It can be a link to whatever it is. Then you can change the icon for it. It can also be a link to a Twitter profile. Only your imagination is limiting here. And then we also have the embedded apps. So let's say that you are first designing in Figma 
and then later on you are developing it on some server. The first step would be to integrate Figma. So you can see it's very simple here. This will add a new app on the client portal with the Figma logo and then the link you insert. You can also add a description. Over here you can see what you need to do in Figma in order to make this happen. You basically just need to click the share button and then copy the link and insert here and then save the app. For now I will just write something simple here and I will just insert a link here to Figma's website. Then I will save the app. So now we have our first app and I will now press save changes. So you can see here that we now have our client portal. Right now it's in dark mode because that's what I chose. We have our documents, our action items, the knowledge base, and then you can see we have Figma down here as an app, but basically it is just a link. Again, we have the timeline, which you've already seen, and up here is where the quick links are showing. Here, the client and you can always search within the documents, within the apps, or whatever it is you need to find. And going over here in the menu, we can click out this client portal to see the documents, if there were any, we can see our action items, the knowledge base and so on, just as you saw before with my first project. Down here in the library, we have reusable blocks that you can use on the client portal. You can see that we have a document footer here that can be used in all documents. We also have a contract for a mobile app development. And this is, let's say that you are a web agency and this web agency sells mobile apps, new websites and web apps then you should definitely have some reusable blocks that you can always insert. So this means that building out a contract or proposal could take minutes instead of hours because you just reuse the different blocks. Of course, there are some things you need to change, but it will still take a lot less time than if you had to build it up from scratch all the time, or you had to go back to the old proposals, copy the component or the text, and then move it over, change the styling, this is just saving you a lot of time and you can easily use all of these components when it is that you sit and build your proposal. If you remember before in our proposal, we also had case studies. So here you can see that we have some case study blocks that we can use where you can show some facts about a specific website you've built or something, a graphic design or something completely different. This is just important because it shows trust. It shows that you know what you're doing and it shows what you have done before. We also here have team bios because in the proposal, we are also showing what team will be taking care of this. And here you can see that we easily can make the different team bios and then just insert them because this is something that you use very often. And the last one down here is billable services. So this is where you enter all of the services that you offer. So before we were talking about mobile app development, in here you can see that our rates for a entire day is 800 British pound and per hour is 120 British pounds. So this is also easy because then you don't have to always remember what was the rate for that specific service we offer for this specific client. You can just in here make billable services and sometimes you have different prices for different clients. So for instance, we have the YouTube client. So if I make a new service called YouTube app development here, then I can make a specific rate for this one. I'll just change this one to Danish because that was what the currency were and I'll set 500 and this one is billable. So you can see now we have our billable service down here, which is YouTube development. We can now then go back to the YouTube video client, go up and create, and then we can create all these different things you can see here, but we can make an estimate and we have our template here as a standard estimate where you can see that all these different items here we can fill out. So let's just say use. So let's just say use template. And then you can see that we can fill out these different things for the specific items. And then we can send it out to the client. What I would like to be able to do here is to insert my billable services here, but it seems that it's not possible. I can't figure out how to do it at least, but that is just an interesting thing because when you use all of these documents for your clients, there is never any doubt of what has been agreed on 
because when you have emails back and forth, you talk on the phone, you text with them, then there are always some doubts of what has been agreed on. So I will always recommend you using these documents. And as you can see, if I go back to the YouTube video, we now have the untitled estimate that we just built automatically everything is collected on the client portal, which is so important because that is where you will always go to if you have any doubts or issues. We can also set up a free form document, make it brief, but what's interesting is that we can make a progress update. A progress update is basically just where you tell what has been done on a specific date maybe, or let's say that you are making sprints where you work 14 days and then you send an update. Here you can basically just send a progress update, set a date, what has been done, and then you can approve it and shoot it out to the client. And then it will lay in the client portal where the client can then go in and look. And they can also look historically what has been done for the project and then basically follow it along. So you can see that there are so many great ways to communicate with your client without you have to reach out to your client everything works through the client platform. So the client portal is basically like a middleman where everything is collected. So you never have any doubts of what has been agreed on. Now the pricing structure really shows that either you're a freelancer or you're a team because they have three plans. And the first two plans really shows that they are for individual people. And the last plan is for teams. Now these three plans differs on the custom domain, the white label solution and the amount of team members you can get. And now the alternatives of super okay. The first one is Clinked, which we have previously reviewed on the channel and Clink cannot be customized in the same way that we see with super okay, because with super okay, not only can we change the entire design profile with the colors, but we can also integrate with more than 100 apps. The other option is Basecamp and Basecamp is definitely the number one choice within client portal. They've been in the industry longer. They've been able to build a more solid, stable product that just has more features than super okay. But the fact that super okay is integrated with more than 100 apps and the direction they're taking, they're definitely becoming an interesting choice in, within the client portals. So let's see what's in for the future. Now the future for super okay looks very interesting. First off, they're working on project templates. This means that we can really make our client portal looks like we want it to. Already now we can work with colors, some fonts, but with project templates, we can really customize the feel of the website to look how we want it. And then we can start off a template and then work from there. Then they are also adding file management. So we overall can use files, add files within the platform. They are also adding a Google Docs integration. Furthermore, they're working on role management because as you have seen, we can have multiple team members, but this also requires some role management because we need to be able to manage the permissions for each of the different roles. Then they are also working on payment integrations. So you can receive payments through your client portal. And this is just another integration that makes it possible to automate all of your different processes. And last but not least, they're working on a Sapier integration. This opens up for more than 3000 different apps that we can integrate super okay with. So all of these features, when they are implemented, we are looking at a very interesting tool. Now, what I really like about super okay is that it's so easy to use. The UX is working very well. And then the fact that it's so customizable, we can change whatever it is we want on our client portal. And then the reusable blocks really makes it easy. Though I really want them to work on deeper integration so we can pull in data and show on our client platform. And then last but not least, the overall design of the client platform is locked. We cannot move the modules around. With super okay, you will definitely save time. Your client can always access the client portal to see the progress on the project contracts and much more. I want to give super okay four stars. It's a terrific client portal, but I really want to see deeper integrations. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. 
let's catch up on the next one.